Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to easily install Google Play on your brand new Amazon Fire HD 10 tablet. Recently for Prime Day, these were on sale for $70. And with a price like that, it's really hard to beat a tablet like this. And I know a lot of my viewers actually picked these up. So I figured I'd go ahead and just do a quick tutorial on installing Google Play. Now what you're seeing on screen here are both of the same exact tablets, but on the right hand side I've done some other modifications. If you're interested in getting all of this set up to look like a real Android tablet, I do have a tutorial. But this video is dedicated to just installing Google Play. Now this is really easy to do, but you will need access to a Windows PC because we're going to be using an application called Fire Toolbox. With just a few clicks of the mouse, we can have Google Play up and running on our brand new Amazon Fire HD 10. And this also works on the new HD 8 or the HD 8 Plus and the Amazon Fire HD 10 Plus. So it's basically got all of the tablets from 2016 up to 2021 covered. So like I mentioned, really easy to do. You will need the USB Type-C cable that was included with your Amazon Fire tablet. And you're also going to need access to a Windows 10 PC. Before we move over there, there's one thing we need to do on the tablet, and that's enable developer options. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so here we are with the Amazon Fire HD 10. First thing we need to do is head over to settings. There's an icon, or you can scroll down from the top and hit the little gear icon. But we're in settings. We need to go all the way down to the bottom. Device options. From within device options, we're going to find about tablet. And from here, we're going to click on serial number about six or seven times. That's going to enable the developer options. So when that's done, we'll back up, scroll down. We now have a new section called developer options. Make sure this is turned on at the top. And from here, we need to turn on USB debugging. This is going to allow us to use that application to install Google Play. We'll choose OK. And we're ready to move over to the PC. That's all we need to do on the tablet to get Google Play installed. Okay, so now that we're over at our PC, we still need access to our Amazon Fire tablet. We're going to use the included USB Type-C cable that came with the tablet and plug one end into the PC. We're going to wait before we plug our tablet into the PC because we need to download an application. And that's known as the Fire Toolbox. And as I'm making this video, it's version 18, but it will be updated in the future. This is an awesome set of tools for your Amazon Fire tablet. It works from the 2014 HD6 all the way up to the new 10 and 10 Plus for 2021. This does a lot more than install Google Play, but like I mentioned in this video, that's what we're going to be going over. I recommend reading through all of this. There's some great information in here. But uh, once you're done with that, we're going to go ahead and download the latest version. I'm going to grab the installer here, version 18.0, and this link will be in the description. Give it a second to download. It'll be located in your downloads folder. I'm going to head over there and here we have it, the Fire Toolbox version 18. Like I said, this will be higher in the future and we're going to install for only me. You can install it for all users if you want. Choose next, install. And we can go ahead and launch it. So from here, lots of great information. Read through this. Looks like it's your first time running this. They'll give you a little walkthrough if you want to. You can also change the theme here. I'm going to leave it just like it sits. So I'll choose set theme, choose OK. It's automatically going to check for updates and it's going to search for your Amazon tablet, but we don't have it plugged in just yet. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my tablet, plug it into my PC using that included USB type C cable. And on the tablet itself, you're going to get a prompt allow USB debugging. I'm going to choose always allow from this computer because this is my personal PC. I'll choose OK. And now over on your PC, we're connected and ready to go. You're a new user. I would recommend going through this, but since I've used this before, I'm just going to choose yes, I've used this before. And we're now ready to install Google Play. So basically, the only thing we need to do here to get Google Play up and running on our Fire 10 tablet or the Fire HD 8 is go to Google Services. We're going to choose this one. We're going to execute tool. Now I have noticed that sometimes on the very first startup, it will not download it correctly. So I close this down. Try Google Services again, execute tool, and it automatically starts downloading and installing everything for us. Give it a minute or two to finish up. And there we have it. If you look at your tablet right now, Google Play just popped up. 
I would recommend waiting about 10 minutes before we start to sign in. But that's it for installing Google Play on your Amazon Fire tablet. There are some other awesome options in here, like adding a custom launcher and disabling some of the Amazon apps and even disabling the on-screen ads or the lock screen ads. But this video was strictly about installing Google Play. I'm gonna move back over to the tablet now. All right, so here we are. As you can see, we have Google Play installed and all you're gonna do here is open it up and sign in just like you would with any other Android phone or tablet. And once you're signed in, we'll go ahead and access Google Play. And we can download anything we want from Google Play. I'll just do a test app. We'll go with, uh, we'll just do YouTube. It's installed and ready to launch. We now have the official YouTube app from Google Play installed on our Fire tablet. So yeah, I mean, it's really easy to install Google Play on these tablets and it's totally worth doing. You could always go through and sideload things if you want to, but with no Google Play services, there are a lot of apps that just won't work correctly. So having Google Play on these definitely makes it a much better tablet. So that's going to wrap it up for this one. Really appreciate you watching. Hope you got this installed successfully. If you're interested in making your tablet look like the one on the right, I have created a full tutorial. I'll leave a link for that in the description, but it's basically the same steps with the Fire Toolbox. You just need to enable some more options from within the application. But that's it for this one. All links for everything mentioned in this video are in the description. And like always, thanks for watching.